This is a Uber Concept One model U3105. I'm not a Hoover expert, but I believe this is one of the earlier Hoover Concept Ones. Not the first model, but perhaps the second model. So this probably would have come out in the early 1980s, maybe 1981, 1982, sometime around there. Um, for those who don't know, the Hoover Concept One was the top of the line Hoover upright from the late 70s well into the 90s. Um, Around 1991, 1992, the Concept 1 and 2 were discontinued and replaced by the Power Max, which was basically um, a very similar machine, but it had onboard tools and an onboard hose, a um, little more plastically, plasticky, a little clunkier, a little heavier, I think even maybe a little bit louder. And then eventually that was replaced around 1994 by the new power drive, which was basically kind of like almost a beefed up elite, um, but still I believe built on the basic concept platform. And these machines are well known in the vacuum community just because they are very powerful machines. They probably still are one of the best um, uprights ever made as far as carpet cleaning goes. Um, but um, they were quite expensive new, adjusted for inflation. They were probably five, six hundred dollars, somewhere around there. So they weren't giving them away for sure. Now this particular machine, as you can see, it's green and it has a vinyl outer bag. The later models would use a cloth outer bag and would also have a bulkier handle um, in which all of the controls would be on the handle as opposed to here is just the drive release and on this model you control the power for the slider switch right here so this is a concept one as i said but it's a more higher end con concept one because it's a two speed and it has a cord reel and it has a headlight um what's interesting about this machine is that it has three different settings, shag plush and then a self-adjusting setting, which I think is kind of interesting. Not really commonly seen on really a lot of other vacuums. Um, for the time, it was quite a stylish machine. Uh, green was definitely an in color and it's got the fancy um, decals as well as this fancy H Hoover emblem here. So it is you know, a pretty pleasant looking machine for a vacuum of that time period. And it's in relatively good shape too, um, which is one of the reasons why I might even hold on to this machine. Um, you can see the brush roll is still in fairly good condition. The brush strips have some wear, but not the worst I've seen for one of these things. This was my neighbor's aunt's vacuum and the minute my mom sent me a picture of this machine, I knew where it came from because I did a carpet cleaning job years and years ago for my neighbor's elderly aunt. And I remember seeing that machine there. Quite interesting. She had a Coover Concept 1 for the carpets and then she had an Electrolux Model G for everything else. So a very smart lady. She chose wisely. Um, and I remember she had some Electroluxes even after that. I think she even had two Electrolux canisters. I believe she also had a 1205, which was also given to me at some point, although I no longer have it. And then at some point, I think in the 90s, she bought a Renaissance. And she may or may not still have that machine. I'm not sure. But overall, it works pretty well. You know, it has some wear, you know, which is expected for a 40-some-year-old vacuum. The cord wheel works, but it is a little bit slow. Um, as you can see, you kind of have to just help, help it go back in. I can't really do that with one hand. But most of you know what a Concept 1 sounds like, but I'll still plug it in quick. I still have to get light bulbs for it, and I also need to get a new drive belt for the self-propelled mechanism 
So it's not so easy to push around right now. I've had many a Concept 1 over the years. I had one Concept 2, um, and they're, they are good machines. Um, and I've upgraded it to use the A HEPA bags, um, which is great because now you have a 40 old vacuum that for the most part, the filtration is closer to a modern vacuum now with those bags. Um, and like I said, yeah, they're great machines. I did have a tool set for one at some point, but I got rid of it long ago. Um, but yeah, other than the headlights and that drive belt for the self-propelled, it does work pretty well. Um, I think I slightly prefer the blue model, um, just because I really like blue. Um, but other than that, that's a great vacuum. And we'll give it a quick whir around on this carpet. said very loud but a very powerful machine being a direct air vacuum you can see it picks the carpet right up in the corner so um, it's a shame it's a shame that you can't get a lot of the parts for the machine anymore otherwise I wouldn't be surprised if people were still using these today um, Every once in a while, you actually might come across somebody who still uses one of these. Actually, about seven or eight years ago, while I was talking to a vacuum cleaner repairman, a fairly young lady came in wheeling one of these into the store. So it's interesting what you might find people still using. And granted, this was their top-of-the-line machine, um, a very expensive one at that. Um, they really were made to last even for being a plastic vacuum cleaner. This did replace the Hoover dial matic which is a clean air upright, but even for being clean air and this being direct air, this direct air was a far better machine in my opinion. Um, I didn't see as many problems with the concept as I did with the dial matics The dial matics were only so-so for carpet cleaning in my opinion, whereas this was excellent. The dial matics also um, had a lot of issues with the handles. Um, the handles would get a little wobbly and sometimes would get a short in the wiring. So all in all, this was a better machine and it wouldn't be until about another 15 or so years after this vacuum was made until Hoover would make another clean air upright, which would be the wind tunnel in 1997. So that is the Hoover Concept 1 and I hope you enjoyed the video.